Greetings. In this video, we are going to find what is called the different quotient. So this is something that you typically do in an algebra class. And if you ever study calculus, you use this when you're finding the derivative using what's called the definition of the derivative. In any case, we're going to find the difference quotient given this function in this video. And I've got the answer here. Uh, this is from one of my books, Super Powered College Algebra 2. So I'll be able to check my answer and I'll know it's correct. Um, so let's, let, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is write down the formula for the difference quotient, right? Super key, super important to memorize it. It needs to be like breathing, all right? So it's going to be f of x plus h, and hopefully you can see okay. Uh, this is a new setup and my lighting is not so good. I apologize. Okay, so that is, that is the difference quotient formula, right? f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So, so the first thing you do now is plug in x plus h for all the x's. That's how you figure out f of x plus h, right? You replace each x with x plus h. That's all you do. Uh, technically speaking, what we are doing is we are evaluating the function at x plus h. But we're just replacing all the x's with x plus h. So this is going to be x plus h quantity squared plus the number 1. So, so far, the only thing I've written on the board, okay, is, is f of x plus h. That's the only thing that has been written on the board. And then minus, we have the minus sign, and then x squared plus 1. Well, here's where you have to be really careful, right? This is two terms. Uh, people call that a binomial because it's two terms. Bi means two. So, because it's two terms, you want to make sure you use a parenthesis, okay? So this is going to be parenthesis x squared plus plus 1. Boom! But we're not done, right? What's missing? We're missing the h. Beautiful stuff, right? So let's just check this just to be sure. I have time, no rush. f of x plus h, that's this piece right here, right? This, my friends, is f of x plus h. And this, my friends, is f of x. You see that? So again, write down that formula every single time, and then you just replace, you just replace your x with x plus h, okay? All right, now we're good to go. Oh, I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video, but this right here, you want to just memorize this, okay? x plus h squared, it's a formula. You do not want to like have to like foil in the middle of this problem. That would be uh, not a monumental disaster, but just a minor one. So memorize it. So this is equal to. Okay, this is equal to, this is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So that, that's, and then plus 1. So this is just from memory, okay? Just pure memory. Memorize it, right? Just commit it to memory. Certain things in mathematics should just be memorized. You can easily multiply this out. You can write it twice, x plus h times x plus h. You can distribute or foil, however you do it. And you will get this, right, guaranteed 100%. Minus, there is actually a 1 here. In mathematics, when we do this, there's an implicit 1. It's implied in mathematics, okay? That's one of the rules for math. Whenever you see the minus in a parenthesis, there's a 1 there, okay? So we're going to distribute that negative 1. So negative 1 times x squared is negative x squared, or minus x squared. Boom. And then negative 1 times 1 is minus 1. So this is minus 1. Boom. And then what's missing? The h, right? So don't forget, don't forget your little h. That goes, that goes right there. Super, super key. All right, now at this point, there's, there's some magic that happens. In these types of problems, and this will always happen with, with polynomials like this one, is that everything that doesn't have an h is going to magically cancel. It's going to go away, okay? Super important. So this x squared, it doesn't have an h. It should cancel. And how do I know this? Just from doing these problems for years, right? So look, boom, gone, game over. The 1, gone. So what are we left with? We're left with 2xh plus h squared all over h, right? So I'm going to write it here. So this is 2xh plus h. And I apologize about the lighting. I don't know if you can see the stuff on the board correctly. This is a, a new setup. I've had this board for a while, and I just thought, let me use it, it's kind of fun. We need to get rid of this h, we need to simplify. So what we're going to do now is we're going to factor out an h, or pull out an h. So this is equal to h, parentheses, 2x, plus h, 
all being divided by h, right? It's all being divided by h in this case. And look what happens here, right? These go away, boom. And then we're left with 2x plus h. So the final answer is 2x, right, a little bit bigger so you can see it, plus h. And that should be the final answer. I am pretty sure that is 100% correct. Let me grab my book and see if it is correct. So it is, it's correct, we did it right. Not like I thought we would do it wrong, but hey, it's math, right? Everyone makes mistakes. So if you're messing up on these, don't worry, you will get it, my friends. And yeah, I hope it's been helpful. Stay strong.